There's one locomotory hypothesis that I haven't mentioned yet, and it involves the plates. That's right. The, this hypothesis suggests that the plates were not for display, or for thermoregulation, or for species identification, but acted as airfoils. This is the work of one Dr. Balau from Ogden, Utah, and then the author Edgar Rice Burroughs, like 10 years later, suggested that the plates of Stegosaurus were used for gliding off of cliffs because these were obviously Ornithischian animals, and therefore they're the ancestors of birds. And to my knowledge, no toy company has had the courage, has had the audacity, to portray this in a product for market. Until now. I saw this kite and I had to share it with you guys, because it's... Like, a series of decisions had to be made to make this product, and all of them are baffling. Like. If they were starting from, we need to make dinosaur kites, I can't imagine why they would pick Stegosaurus, unless they already had this artwork. But, like, it's, it's a custom kite. They had to specifically design pieces that would support exactly this artwork to make a flying Stegosaurus. Unless they were in on the joke and they, too, are familiar with that old newspaper clipping, but I can't imagine that's the case. Maybe it's just a funny coincidence.